Take a trip with me back in time down memory lane in a rift before reworks. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. We are taking a trip very far down memory lane and seeing the ridiculous power of pre-rework champions. Hit that like if you love this kind of stuff and subscribe for some more awesome content like this daily. Let's hop right back in with an old but gold scoop combo. God, I miss the old Tiamat so much. Next up, this is pre-rework, Ultra Rapid Fire, Blade of the Rune King, Titanic Hydra Volibear. This is Nostalgia in Eclipse. Scar is the man I learned Katarina from, and right here is a lesson in itself you can still apply with a new cat. This is the Invisible Death Lotus. It's also just crazy to see how young these League veterans are in these clips. Next up, it's the ugly mess that was pre-rework Urgot. If you're not a boomer like me, his Qs were this projectile skill shot that became lock-on after you landed his E. His E is that green cast that shreds armor and makes the Qs home to the target, and if you activate your W shield, the Qs would also slow. Oh my god, is this the double play? That's th that's it, that's the double play. Oh no, you dead. see this guy? Wait, wait! Oh my oh. god! Let's get into some full AP shenanigans. Deathcap's Athene's Master Yi. If you thought the old assassin Yi was annoying, y'all have not seen truly broken resets. Next up, it's a young Sir Chez with a pre-rework full AP Death Fire Grass Poppy. This build makes Dark Harvest Poppy look like a joke.
Ah, uh, yes, I love that the old Shin Zhao ult would make you unnecessarily tanky. Next up, we've got a big team fight at Baron breaking out. Red team is going in for the kill, but let's keep an eye on Graves. Pre-rework Graves was honestly the coolest and swaggiest ADC, and oh man, I miss it so much. His E was akin to Lucian's, but every single auto would reduce the dash cooldown, plus it gave him the true grit resistances. I think that's probably the oldest clip we have, and that looks right around the time when I started playing. Next up, this is the original, original Zack. It's still the same idea with grabbing your blobs, but the old stretching strikes just look so underwhelming. I gotta say, I'm impressed with how Ganker plays this. Old Scion E would give him plus 65 AD, and Rank 3 ult would give him plus 100% lifesteal. So yeah, if he got snowballing, he was a menace. Good luck ever diving old Irelia. She gets more tenacity the more people there are, and her E turns into a stun if you guys are equal health or if her current percentage health is lower than yours.
Keep your eye on Alex Each's Master Yi. That's a phrase I didn't think I'd ever be able to say. The downfall of AP Yi is you do so much damage, but only every 8 seconds or so with Alpha. So Alex Alpha's into the backline, does a bunch of damage, but has to Zonia's installed just to Alpha Strike again. Talk about interactive gameplay. One more Alpha Strike, he can get another triple here. That is one. Oh, the Master Yi and Penta. That's a triple, that's a quadra, and the chase! Penta kill! Penta kill! Alex Itch with... Important note, we're only 17 minutes into the game. I wasn't sure what Riot's thought process was given Mordekaiser a pet dragon, but that plus the Rift Herald, you're playing a dangerous game. What the f How did I live there? Old Karma made no sense at all, but here we go. Her Q is that cone of blades, and she still has her shield, except before if you used her mantra on the shield, it would do a burst of damage. Oh, also her mantra Q turned it into a heal, and then the tether wouldn't root anyone, it would just speed you and allies up if you ran through it and uh, slow the enemy down. Everything is new to me, sleepless in a distant dream. Slowing up the speed of time Don't let me crash down tonight I just wanna feel what I feel, what I feel When it's just you and me I'm falling on my knees, on my knees just to see If I can still bleed Cause with you I'm super human Hope it's not a Ah uh, yes, even older Mordekaiser. Manu has stolen Jace's soul, and every time Jace or Mordekaiser does damage, it fills up that gray bar, which acts like a shield.
Wooly Bear was an OG super tank, albeit a very, very confused one. Was he AD? Was he AP? Was he tank? Dear lord, the world may never have known, but one thing was for sure. If you didn't have enough burst, this bear is never going down. Oh my god, it's an old Yorick. Yeah, that dude was absolutely worthless in ARAMs. But let's focus on Urgot for a sec. We talked about his E-Shredding armor, which is why you'd stack Black Cleaver on top of it for even more shredding goodness. Now, just imagine if Nami's E was post-rework at this time. Urgot would do an uncanny amount of damage. That's going to do it for today's episode all on pre-rework champions. I loved that trip down memory lane, and if you enjoyed yourself, please remember to hit that like and subscribe for some more good content straight to your inbox daily. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next episode.